Imagine a time when Mars, the red planet, was teeming with life, a rich ecosystem and flowing water. Quite a stretch, isn't it? But the data suggests otherwise. Take a moment to picture Mars, not as the desolate, arid planet we see today, but as a vibrant, living world. The Mars rovers, our intrepid robotic explorers, have been beaming back data that paints a rather intriguing picture. Among the barren Martian landscapes, they found signs of dried riverbeds and remnants of ancient lakes. These geological features are telltale signs of a once watery world. But it's not just the physical evidence of water flow that has scientists excited. The rovers have also uncovered a treasure trove of minerals. Among these are hematite, clay minerals and sulphate salts, all of which require water to form. These minerals are like breadcrumbs, leading us back to a time when water was abundant on Mars. One of the most compelling pieces of evidence comes from the Gale Crater. This vast impact basin, roughly the size of Connecticut, has been the focus of the Curiosity rover's investigations. At the heart of the crater lies Mount Sharp, a towering mound of layered rock. The layers hold a chronological record of Mars past, much like the rings of a tree. Curiosity has discovered that the lower layers of Mount Sharp contain clay minerals. Now, clay is particularly interesting because it forms in the presence of water. Not just a fleeting splash, but long-standing, stable bodies of water. This suggests that the Gale Crater was once home to a persistent lake, a body of water that existed for thousands, if not millions, of years. So we have evidence of water in the form of dried riverbeds, ancient lakes and water-formed minerals, but water is just one piece of the puzzle. It's the first step on the long road to life as we know it. So Mars once had water, but does that mean it had life too? Water is a key ingredient for life as we know it, but water alone does not guarantee life. Let's delve into the other conditions necessary for life and see if Mars checks those boxes. The Martian landscape is a treasure trove, not of precious metals or gems, but of something far more intriguing, organic molecules. These molecules, the building blocks of life, have been found in the soil and atmosphere of Mars. The presence of organic molecules doesn't necessarily mean there's life on Mars. However, it does suggest that Mars has, or once had, the right conditions to support life. Now let's talk about methane. Here on Earth, over 90% of methane in our atmosphere is produced by biological activity. Interestingly, Mars has seasonal spikes of methane in its atmosphere. Could this be a sign of life? Perhaps. But methane can also be produced by geological processes, so it's not definitive proof. Now, if life does exist on Mars, it's likely not as we typically envision it. It's more likely to be extremophiles, organisms that have adapted to survive in extreme conditions. On Earth, we've discovered extremophiles in the deepest oceans and the harshest deserts. They've even been found in the radioactive cooling pools of nuclear reactors. So, it's not too far-fetched to imagine similar organisms might exist on Mars. The Martian surface is bombarded with radiation, it's incredibly dry, and the temperatures are harsh. Any life forms would need to be as resilient as the hardiest extremophiles on Earth. They might be tucked away in the subsurface, shielded from the radiation and cold, eking out an existence in pockets of liquid water. The pieces of the puzzle seem to be falling into place, but we need more data to form a complete picture. Remember, our understanding of life is based on what we know from Earth. The universe, however, may have more surprises in store for us. After all, the possibility of life is a tantalizing prospect, and Mars continues to be a planet of interest. Let's juxtapose Mars and Earth and see how similar or different they are. Starting with the atmosphere, Earth's is primarily composed of nitrogen and oxygen. Mars, on the other hand, has a thin atmosphere dominated by carbon dioxide. This thin atmosphere allows for less heat retention, leading to Mars's notoriously cold temperatures. However, data collected from Mars suggests that its atmosphere was once thicker and more conducive to life, with possible traces of water vapor and nitrogen. Next, let's consider the temperature. Earth's average temperature hovers around a comfortable 15 degrees Celsius, give or take a few. Mars, however, is a chilly place with an average temperature around minus 60 degrees Celsius, but billions of years ago when Mars had a thicker atmosphere, its temperature could have been warmer, perhaps similar to that of Earth's. Gravity also sets Earth and Mars apart. Earth's gravity is about three times stronger than Mars. This difference in gravity would significantly affect any life forms that may have existed on Mars. 
they would have evolved under different conditions, potentially leading to unique adaptations. The length of a day on Mars, or a Sol, is intriguingly similar to an Earth day, clocking in at around 24 hours and 39 minutes. This is one of the few areas where Mars and Earth share a striking similarity, but the crux of the matter is these conditions we see on Mars now are not what they used to be. Based on data collected from various Mars missions, scientists believe that billions of years ago, Mars was much more Earth-like. It had a thicker atmosphere, possibly warmer temperatures, and even liquid water on its surface. This opens up the tantalizing possibility that Mars could have once been home to life. As we can see, Mars was not always the barren red planet we see today. It was once more akin to Earth. The quest to unravel Mars past, and the possibility of life continues. The future of Mars exploration looks promising. Imagine this, an era where Mars is no longer a distant red planet, but a familiar place, a second home for humanity. That is the vision that drives the upcoming missions to Mars. A vision driven by scientific curiosity and the spirit of human exploration. In the coming decade, a slew of missions are set to take off. Each one is a chapter in the ongoing story of Mars. Each one designed to shed light on the planet's past, its potential for life, and its future as a possible outpost for humans. One such mission that has piqued the interest of scientists around the world is the Mars Sample Return Mission. This ambitious project aims to do something that has never been done before, bring back samples of Martian soil to Earth. And not just any soil, but soil that could potentially hold the answers to whether life ever existed on Mars. The Mars Sample Return Mission is a three-part campaign that involves NASA, the European Space Agency, and a number of international partners. It begins with the Mars 2020 mission, which involves the Perseverance rover currently scouring the Jezero crater, a site believed to have once held a lake. Perseverance will collect and seal samples in titanium tubes, leaving them on the Martian surface. The second part of the mission involves a fetch rover that will collect these samples and load them into a Mars Ascent vehicle. This vehicle will then launch the samples into Mars orbit. The final leg of the journey involves an Earth return orbiter, which will rendezvous with the samples in Mars orbit, capture them, and bring them back to Earth. The entire process from collection to return is expected to take about a decade. This mission, like many others planned for the future, is a testament to our desire to understand Mars and its mysteries. As we continue to explore Mars, who knows what secrets the Red Planet might reveal? So, was Mars once like Earth? Did it have water, life and everything in between? The data certainly points in that direction. Over the past nine and a half minutes, we've embarked on an interplanetary journey exploring the fascinating world of Mars and its similarities to our own home planet. We've delved deep into the scientific theories and data that suggest Mars was once a habitable planet, teeming with water and potentially life. The presence of dried up riverbeds, reminiscent of our earthly waterways, and the detection of methane in the Martian atmosphere, a gas often associated with biological activity, have led scientists to hypothesize that life may have once flourished on the red planet. We've also compared Earth with Mars, examining their similarities and differences. The striking resemblance in their axial tilts, the presence of polar ice caps, and the evidence of ancient water bodies on Mars all hint at a time when Mars might have been more Earth-like. The importance of ongoing and future Mars missions cannot be overstated. These explorations are not just about understanding Mars's past, but they also hold implications for our own planet's future. The more we learn about Mars, the more we understand about planetary evolution and perhaps our place in the cosmos. The Red Planet continues to intrigue and surprise us. As we decode its secrets, we might just find that Mars was once not so different from